Hey there, everyone. Welcome to The Big Three. I'm your host, Melody. And today's show, the topic is my big three ways to promote your event. Let me give you a little background on myself. I've been in the hospitality industry for about 29 years. And I have a degree in hospitality management and one in business administration. I started off working at the Hollywood Beach Hilton went to the Doubletree, the Sheraton, gosh, um, where else, Marriott, and worked my way up from front desk all the way up to regional director of sales with all the brands that I've been working at. And I've learned a lot. One thing I did notice is that people coming in to do events, they need help. And if they walk into a hotel and they're not sure what they want, then they're going to be led in a direction that benefits the salespeople's goals. And so I've seen that and I don't like that. And so my mission is to help people, help people grow their business through events, help people grow their lives through events, because events are growth enablers. And I've learned and I've studied so I know exactly what to do. Part of the service that I provide is event marketing. So if you have just started your business and you want the world to know about your business, I can help you do your grand opening. If you're an existing company and you want to entice and schmooze and wine and dine your clients, I can do a grand experiential affair all of it let's get connected uh, one of the services I provide for my clients is event marketing so if you've just started your business you want to get your business out to the world if you are an existing company and you are doing a sales event or launching a new product you need to get the word out about your business I can help you with that through event marketing so I'm going to share with you three big tips my three that I think uh, if you get these three, you're on the way to a successful event. You don't just, you know, follow the old adage of if you build it, they will come. No, sir. No, ma'am. You can have a fantastically logistically created event, beautifully decorated with no guests. You need guests, you need customers, you need clients, you need attendees, all these people, you need them to show up at your event. And I'm gonna show you how. Now, if you have in your back pocket a fantastic celebrity or an anchor speaker or a famous influencer that will kind of nod in your direction and everyone will stampede there, then more power to you. If you don't, we're going to go grassroots from the ground up. We've got to be committed, dedicated, and take inspired action to get the word out about your event. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to promote your event locally. And for you, that means if you are part of any local chamber of commerce, any leads group, any associations, uh, your, you have a local CVB, that's the Convention and Visitors Bureau. That's the branch of the government that helps the city uh, with tourism, providing information to people coming in from out of town to stay at hotels or have their events locally. You want to get in to see the, these people. Tell them about your event. Ask for opportunities to promote through them. The CVB has a huge range of, a huge network of worldwide people. So if you have the opportunity to get a line or so, get an ad in their, their um, newsletter or be a banner on their website, go for it. If you are in with the chamber and you have the opportunity to be a sponsor for a luncheon or a part sponsor, whatever it is, and that gives you the opportunity to speak to the local people, go for it. 
because that this is going to be twofold. You're going to be getting the word about your business uh, to the attendees at the chamber event. They're also going to post the highlights and information from that event on their website and maybe send some information out in their newsletter. So that's going to benefit you as well. If they do any kind of uh, press releases or emails, your information can be in that as well. You just gotta speak the word to them. Ask, ask for it all, because you don't know what they're able to do for you. The second part of it is you get to take pictures while you're on stage speaking to the audience. Hey there, Richard, thanks for joining me. You get to speak to the attendees at the event and you get to take your pictures. So you'll be on stage with the crowd in front of you and having those pictures in your repertoire for further marketing down the road. So that's number one. Number two is get smart about SEOs. The majority of people use Google as their online search tool whether you're writing up an enticing description of your event page, publishing a blog, putting out a press release, you can benefit from using SEOs. And those are search engine optimization. Those are words that people use to search. Like if they're searching for me, they can search event planner, or they can search the name of the company, or they can search Miami event planner, or Miami party planner, or corporate event planner. Those are searchable words that you can plug in and then it'll bring up a list of what's in your area, especially if you uh, dive deeper and put either Fort Lauderdale corporate event planner or Miami event planner versus just plain old event planner. That way you're honing in, you're zeroing in on the specific location and the career or, or the title of the person that you're looking for. Once you find these words, your next task is to incorporate those words into the content on your event page, on your website, your registration page, all of it. That way it'll give your, your event the chance to come up in searches. Now to be first page, you may have to do like Google AdWords and, and, and pay to get your company on the first page. Now, initially I used to do that with my business, but uh, nowadays I'm coming up on the first page. So thank the Lord for that. But for your event, if you're just starting out, I'd recommend get deep, get steeped in SEOs. There are tools, free tools online that allow you to find the words if they don't come to your mind right away for your event. So let's say you're looking for a beach party in Miami. You can put a uh, beach party Miami and see what other words come up that people could search for. And then you choose the one that has the most uh, viewership or visibility. There's like a, a, a count, like the number of views for that word. And you can choose that. If you are not sure, just Google uh, keyword search and you'll see some, uh, apart from Google, you'll see other, I guess, and, um, websites that offer you keyword search that are free. So you could try a few of them and see the results and then you choose the best words that describe your event. Then you include that in your content. All right, so that is number two. Number three is make it easy for people to buy your tickets. Oftentimes when people are searching and your event comes up, some companies or some event planners like to have people redirected to different places for them to make the purchase. Make it easy to take people's money have the event page and have them be able to purchase your ticket right then and there instead of redirecting them. Because oftentimes when people are using their credit card, they don't feel comfortable being redirected to different places. It kind of gives them a weird feeling. They don't feel very secure. So 
you're using Eventbrite, make sure that everything about your event is on that one page and the guest or your attendee doesn't have to be searching around for different links and things like that in order to give you their money so they can attend your event. Make it easy for them. All right, so those are my big three. One, promote locally. Get in with your CVB, your Chamber of Commerce, your Leeds Group, any associations. Try to get be a sponsor speak at their events and promote your business make sure you get pictures taken of you doing so number two get smart about seos if you're not sure everything's on google lots of free information on what that is and those are just keywords that would you would use to describe your event you insert those in your event page in your registration page on your event website so that when people are searching for that you'll come up possibly page one, which is the goal for everyone. But yeah. And the third one, make it easy for them to buy. If you have any questions about any ways to promote your event, post it in the comments. I will be happy to respond and give you any tips from my experience. I do this all the time for clients. So it's like second nature to me. Event planning runs through my brain. So Post in the comments what your thoughts are on your upcoming event, uh, on SEOs to uh, promote your event. If you have questions about what's the best way to get the word out about your event, or if you've tried some things and you want to get feedback on that or share to help other people who are going to be watching the replay, go ahead and post that. I will see you here next Wednesday at 8 p.m. to share another big three.